and I let's work on these headlights. So up next we'll add the decals or we'll do that. Let's get this piece in place. That's in. It doesn't actually, I mean, it fits pretty good, doesn't need any real glue. Let's put a little bit back there just to kind of. Pro tip I would uh, put this in and then decal it because I kind of, the decal kind of ripped a little bit while pushing it in there. So I would, I would uh, put the uh, piece in first. Thank <laughs> you. 
there you can see there's a freshly repaired paint and clear coated bumper the with the metal transfers applied and the marker side marker light decals applied it is ready to go so it is finished it's not near it's not perfect it's, uh, it lost a little bit of its correct shape in the process but it's close enough that a lot of people may not even notice unless it's pointed out and i'll show you this little the rear piece the I guess the fuser piece, whatever it's technically called. Um, so there's how it looks on the right, the left side. That's how it looks on the left side. Not perfect, but it's close. Like I said, maybe people won't notice. So I did add a little bit of bracing back here on the other on the underside. Uh, the only area I could add bracing because up in here. The tail lights sit. I'll show you like I think the tail light sits like that. So any bracing up here would throw the tail lights out of alignment. So that is the rear bumper. It is good to go. Let's let's move on. Let's maybe get some progress on, on this one. Off camera, I got the headlights installed as well as the marker lights for the, on the, the decals done on that one as well. Also painted the uh, the roof black on the other side. Yeah, no, there's some tape there, taping the headlights in. The way my luck has been going, I didn't want to take any chances, so I just taped them in. So on the tail lights, they needed to be painted, the outer part of the tail lights need to be painted black, while the inside is chrome. Instructions. Kind of look like that. I know it's a little overexposed. I apologize. So we're gonna do this. Do the same thing we did with the uh, headlights. This time I'm gonna use uh, some Mr. Thinner to try and remove them. So let's see how it works. So there's that one. Any little areas I could touch up with paint if need be. These pointy ones, we get we get in there. I think that's good enough. I think uh, it's going to be behind a red colored lens anyway, so you may not be able, truly be able to tell. Let's do the other one. There we go. I'll just like it. There we go, that is the black side piece attached to the bumper.
afraid to put a whole lot of pressure on the bumper because I don't want to break it again. So I'm being trying to be very, very gentle because I broke it once while I was fixing it. Mm-hmm.